Hello. As many of you know, I write a weekly newsletter called Big Desk Energy. And today I'm going to share the easiest way to get advertisers to sponsor your newsletter. Getting started on Beehive, the first thing you're going to do is create a sponsorship storefront. So when you jump into the ad panel, here you can see the different advertisements that are available to you to run on demand. What I'm going to show today is how to create an advertiser storefront that other companies and advertisers can book directly with you. So here you can see that I have two different options. The first is called the primary sponsorship. When you create the actual product, you add the name, the description, and the price. So it's $6,000 to run a sponsorship in Big Desk Energy. You can set the frequency, which is every Tuesday. And then the different assets that you require as the publisher to be able to run the ad. Then separately, you can see here, I created a monthly package, which is just made up of four of the primary sponsorships, which you get a 10% discount at $20,000 to be able to get a 100% share voice of Big Desk Energy for the month. So what does that look like in practice? Here is my website that I've created for Big Desk Energy. This is my newsletter website that's built entirely on the Beehive website builder. And then up here, you can see the advertise in the nav bar that I created by clicking on that. So this is from the perspective of ideally an advertiser, they would be able to learn more about my publication. So the size, open rate, click through rate. And then also you can see here, both of the different options that I showed earlier, both the primary sponsorship and the monthly package. You can click on book and just go through the process of actually booking a sponsorship. Um, so that is what we call direct sponsorships on Beehive and makes it super easy for advertisers to discover different publishers. And then I want to show you what I did on my most recent send. So on Tuesday, I actually didn't have an advertiser. And so instead of having no ad displayed, I created a house ad that tells that's sponsored by me. Essentially, I showcase who my audience is, a few of the previous sponsors, and then I had two call to actions. One is to download the media kit. And so this is a media kit that I created, which shows different information about my publication, my audience, who my readers are, etc. And then the second call to action is actually to book instantly via my direct sponsorship page, which redirects people here. So I sent that email to about 100,000 people. And this is what happened. Going back over to the direct sponsorships, when I go to overview, I actually had someone submit a request to sponsor my newsletter. So you can see here, this is the admin panel of having a direct sponsorship page. The partner here is Untold. So shout out Untold, my future sponsor. Um, here's a bunch of information that the person who submitted Ania provided. And then here's information over here. So May 13th is next Tuesday. You can see the payment. So the price is $6,000. Beehive only takes a $10 flat fee for every placement book. So that is in comparison to the five or 10% fee that a lot of other platforms charge. And then the Stripe processing fee. Then you can come up here, click on the assets submitted, and you can see the messaging points that Ania submitted, the logo, which you can't see because it's white the thumbnail image and the link of where I should be sending the copy. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Um, currently the money is placed in escrow. Um, by accepting this placement, it's now going to block it off on my calendar. So other people cannot submit a advertising or sponsorship request for that same date, which is next Tuesday. Um, and currently, as it says here, the funds are in escrow, but that's not all. So let me hop back over to this and you can see again, going back to these two call to actions up here, what I'm going to do next is go to, here's the doc send. This is the first call to action. You can view the details of who actually clicked. So I can go through this data and see who selected the look at my media kit. I'm going to export that data. And then I'm going to see who clicked on the direct sponsorship link. You can see 182 unique people clicked on that. I'm going to export that. What I'm not going to show on this video is I'm going to clean those exports. I'm going to hydrate that data with whether it's Claude or ChatGPT to see who these people are. 
And then now I have about 400 leads to reach out to to see if they want to sponsor the newsletter, which I would assume the combination of using the direct sponsorships and reaching out to these 400 readers who submitted some sort of interest um, that I had like a pretty large pipeline of sponsors for upcoming newsletters. Um, I think that was it. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just kind of showing what I'm doing in real time. I thought that was interesting, a successful use case of me using the direct sponsorship feature. And then hopefully you can re replicate this yourself for your publication.